All right, this is going to be a follow-up video. Just a little bit more about the, uh, the lap plaster look. And again, it's, it's very simple, very basic. Uh, if, you, if you've been doing dioramas and working with foam, or if you've never have, um, very simple. Again, blade, extend it all the way out. And again, choke up on that blade, because again, this, this, this blade is very pliable. It's very thin. Anyway, choke up on that blade. Remember, keeping your fingers off the sharp part. Anyway, um, it's a practice piece of foam, and again, you can see I've already started, but anyway, you can see I've only shaved down, and again, you can, you can shave it as much as you want. You can shave down, and it will be a little uneven at first, but again, you can shave it back down. But go down the side, like on this building here, you get a nice square building, you want to just be able to flick that off, and uh, get a couple of, uh, you know, just odd... Uh, shapes there it's never going to be neat or uniform or whatever but uh the more you practice this the easier it gets see i'm choking up on that blade and again that flick of the wrist just get that get it get you and see how much blade i have under there i use the long part of that blade and get it in there and then get that point in there just flick just flick it off and again if, if it's too straight get in there and just uh make it jagged and again, see, you can just shave all that off. Nice piece of jagged wall. And again, you can go back on a corner and do the same thing on the corner here. Uh, anyway, but that's just basically it. And again, always have a little bit of sandpaper sitting by. Because again, foam is sandable. Take a 120 grit sandpaper in your hand. Bow it out a little bit. Just get that nice little bow in there. And just with the weight of your hand... Just sand it. Just sand it. Just sand it. Now that'll smooth out all the cut marks. And if you've got beading on some of this foam, it depends on how dense it is. This is kind of like a number 75 density. It, it comes, uh, most of your foam is a 70, 75 weight density. Uh, the thicker foams and the heavier foams are going to be like a 90. Uh, basically, that's the density number. Anyway, sand it down. There you go. And another cool trick is, is that I showed you earlier in another video that uh, little oak trim here. It's an inch. It's a half inch by half inch. A real quick little uh, tidbit here on how to get your brick marks here is you take this, uh, take this thing here, and again, level it out with the top. If you have a, a, a point of reference on it. Anyway, put that flat there and roll that corner in, and then roll it down, roll that corner in, roll it down. You see what it's going, you see what's going on? It automatically, because foam has a memory, you're going to be cutting this out anyway, but you've got your brick marks already there. Again, just roll this down and eyeball it, because you know, once you the more you do it, the easier it's going to get. And again, just roll this down there and you can slide it over just slide it over anyway but that'll get your your, your brick marks started um, that'll get you all your your uh, this piece right here it'll get your all your brick lines and this is just reference marks it doesn't have to be where you're gonna cut but it just reference your brick marks is where your bricks gonna go and this half inch by half inch oak is a really good scale for the brick height on a wall and again, you're gonna be. This is just a reference point. Again, by rolling this all the way down, it'll be easier than trying to have to measure every every little line. This brick's not perfect, especially older buildings. Brick is not gonna be neat and crisp like you know a lot of these new buildings. Anyway, but that's just kind of a general idea of with the uh, lath plaster and a little little tip on on rolling this down. Again, when you roll it, get it to that corner and press that corner down. Roll it up and just press that corner down. Roll it, press that corner down. Again, the only hard part is just keeping this straight with this top line. Eyeball it all the way down. And then you can come back and I can show you the other technique. Anyway, lath plaster, again, it doesn't have to be neat. There's nothing about neat about broken plaster. Um, it actually, the more jagged, the more, uh, the more interesting the building's going to look. So anyway, that's just kind of a general idea. And if you've got any ideas or comments, you know, 
jump in here, man. Let me know. I'm, I'm always open for, for critique and ideas or just, hey, you know, just tell me how great a job I'm doing. 